excitable people down the front there. Uh, hey, that's what I like. Look at you in, a, in an Iron Maiden T-shirt. It looks a denim cut-off vest, long hair like mine. Uh, I'm starting to think you might be a bikey gang down the front there. That's what I like to see. Is this a gift for you, or is that the severed head of one of my family in there? Yeah, we're really glad that you're here, Ross. Why not accept this, the severed head of your mother? Not really. Imagine if it was. Imagine that. You went, shit, he planned that from the start. And then just roll up, hi, Mum. The, um, that's probably not the reaction you would give if the severed head of your mum rolled out. You'd go, oh, my God, somebody's killed my mum. You wouldn't go, hi, Mum. The, um, damn that Highlander. The, um, the... Do you remember? He had his head chopped off. Well done. You're going to have to be faster than that or we'll be here all night. <laughs> what? Hey, what Highlander from the film? I didn't know there was a Scottish man that's been murdering the comics mums. The, um, <laughs> what a, what the hell kind of crazy girl? Oh, hello. Welcome along. Welcome back. How many times? Sorry, was it, was it Jane, was it? What was your name, sir? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> she just held this up, a sign that says, I've lost my voice. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> what a... <laughs> That's excellent. And look at you all clapping, not at her hilarity, but going, shit, I wish we'd thought of that. <laughs> if at any point, look at you all thinking, shit, quickly, get some pens and paper. <laughs> if at any point during the seedings proceedings, he, uh, proceedings, uh, welcome along, late coming man. <laughs> Islander. They, yeah. <laughs> Is this freaking you out yet at all? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's mad. You turned up late. I'd already started miming the show. And you, you were looking at me going, Blimey, it's the ghost of Marcel Marceau. <laughs> he has returned. In case you didn't pick up on what that was, uh, that bag there contains the severed head of my mum. That woman down there has lost her voice and she handed me this thing. And where the fuck have you been? <laughs> that's essentially what we... Uh, no, that's, that's lovely. So you've lost your voice. <laughs> yes. So what was it? Oh, I can't ask. Anyway, lovely. How many times have you been to see the show now? Just since the thing started. You can use fingers. Five? Is this the fifth? The fourth? Lovely. That's what I like to see. Somebody that comes, welcome along. Oh, if only you'd been here two minutes ago, you would have seen some hilarious mime. <laughs> But sadly not. That's what I like to say. You're all in a group, and then you're just hanging back from the group. <laughs> oh, you're not with them. Oh, yes, you are. That's lovely. That's like they've got tickets to the show, and you're just following. <laughs> I like you. I don't want to see Ross, but I like your face. <laughs> 
and he, um, yes, anyway, you're here now. That all, that's all that counts. Those women turned up late and they're having a conversation. What a magnificent bit of lack of punctuality slash rudeness combined together. <laughs> Everyone else got in here. And I don't know why you're applauding yourselves for, yes, we were on time. They're a bunch of, they're a bunch of bastards and they're rude by having a cheeky chat. They, um, what were you chatting about turning up late? And what, and what is that on your head? Is it, a, is it a scarf or is it some sort of... I mean, I like it. It just says to me, it says hippie, it says 1980s tennis player. That's what it says. <laughs> In a good way, you know, like a tennis player that's bored of playing tennis has decided to set up a small commune, maybe hang out with his friends. No, go on, it's all right. Look, it's not one of those shows where if you join in, you fuck it up, right? <laughs> Unless you want to throw the severed head of my mum onto the set, which, by the way, I will get to what's in that bag. I can see some of you sat there going, to be honest, Ross, we don't give a shit what you've got to say. We just want to know the contents of the bag. <laughs> We see this as some kind of comedy ready, steady, cook. That's all it is. <laughs> we sp Imagine that if you went on ready, steady, cook and they went, what have you got? And you poured out the severed head of your mum. <laughs> imagine that. That, you know, that fella, the annoying one that does the rest of the Let's have a look at what you've got in there. Hey, dum, dum, dum. <laughs> If the chefs were truly professional, they'd go, well, let's see what we can make out of it. <laughs> well, um, now, what I'm thinking is, if we just put a small orange into the mum's mouth there, <laughs> like that, maybe it's a bit of basil around the severed neck area, and uh, we'll just chop down that hair and make a pie. <laughs> no, where were you, my lovely, hippie-headed lady friend? Hippie-headed, what a lovely description. What were you up to? What? You were knitting a... Oh, eating dinner! I thought you said I was knitting a mouth. I thought, wow. <laughs> What a great excuse for being late, that would be. <laughs> Sorry, Ross, I wanted to laugh heartily, but sadly, I don't have any lips at all. <laughs> so I just knitted a mouth, and just put it in place, and now I'm able to... <laughs> get a little bit warm having a knitted mouth, but, you know... Oh, you're eating dinner. Well, what an excellent reason for lateness. That's fine. The, uh, was it anywhere fancy? No. No, they served me severed mum's heads. <laughs> as possible way. I'm only mucking about because you really are quite... It's lucky that this show has got an interval and there's a second... Some shows you go to very short. This one will be here for hours. No, where were you, my friend? Because that seems to be the general area of lateness there. Because I can't help noticing that you've just sat down next to a uh, Woodstock tennis player down there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where, where were you? Cooking! Cooking? That's mad. She was eating, you were cooking. Is, this, is everyone that turns up late a different section of food processing? Is that what it... I was eating, I was cooking. Is somebody else going to turn up even earlier? I was growing vegetables. <laughs> That's mad. After the, after the interval, like second half of the show, God knows what's going to be up. I was standing in an open field. <laughs> ploughing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you plough and stand at the same time. Surely you'd be sitting on some sort of plough, just standing in a field ploughing. No wonder he's late, he's just, he's got a stick like that. It's just dragging your foot like that. I'll drop some seeds in there a bit later on. <laughs> nice bit of foot ploughing there. The, uh, are you taking a photo, you cheeky fucker? What? This is the most disrespectful room full of people I've ever met in my life. I go to talk to her, she hands me a note from her mum. She says, I can't speak to you, Ross. The thing at the start says, don't take photos, so you're taking photos, and those fuckers just waltz in half an hour late. This is ridiculous. Does anyone just want to piss on me? Come on. <laughs> don't answer that.